Hi, my name is Jeff Wells. I'm a CPO with SRT Prosthetics and Orthotics. This video is going to cover a custom TLSO or thoraca lumbar sacral orthosis. So this is a body jacket basically, or some people call it a clamshell or a turtle shell type of brace. It's two pieces, bivalve with six straps, three on each side holding it together. We want to get good compression of the patient's torso because we want to limit twisting, bending, and, and those kinds of things uh, for healing of, of the vertebrae. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log roll the patient to put the back behind him. We're going to have the patient raise his knee opposite of the way he's going to turn. He's going to reach across with a hand and then he's going to roll to, in this case, the right side. Which side you roll to is really up to the patient and how their um, other injuries may be involved. So now I want to palpate and find his hip, right there's the iliac crest. I want to put this waist groove, this bump, if you will, in the brace just above iliac crest. That way you know every time you have the brace positioned correctly top to bottom. So again, palpate the, the iliac crest, put this down underneath him. And yep, the further you can have the patient roll, the better that is. And all right, let's have him roll back towards me. And then you wanna check side to side and make sure that we're, this side appears to me like it needs to come down a little bit. I'm gonna hold mine if you wanna pull down on that a little bit, Jordan. There we go. That looks better. And we're pretty even from side to side. It's not always have to be perfect, but it's pretty even from side to side. Then the front typically goes over the back. And so you just, again, wanna line this waist groove up with the waist groove in the back. We're gonna put this over and line it up. And then we're going to start with the center strap first. And I typically ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it. Okay, and then we're gonna fasten snugly the straps. Okay, you can relax that breath. Now we're gonna move down to the bottom and do the bottom strap next. Again, we'll have him take a deep breath and hold it and fasten. Then we're gonna move to the top. And do the same thing here. A breath again. And there we have it. Then to set the patient up, we're gonna roll him towards me this time. We'll help with his legs off the edge of the bed, and then we'll also help him set up. But he needs to do as much as he can with his own strength uh, so that we're not pulling on him as much. So reach across with this hand, and bend that knee up. Yep, and there you go. Kick your legs off, and now set up. And there it is. Now sometimes we have to make adjustments under the arms or on top of the legs or other things like that, but we'll assess that during this fitting process and uh, we'll take the brace then make the adjustments that are required. But all in all, that's a good first fitting for him. Everything looks positioned, well positioned and tightened in place. Again, we would tell the patient to wear a t-shirt or undershirt or something under it. In the hospital, typically they're wearing their gown. Um, that's the, just what has to be because of IVs and other kinds of things. So that's the fitting of the custom TLSO. If the patient's injuries require, we would lay him back down to take the brace off. If we may need to make adjustments, we would assess that and we would mark where these adjustments need to be made, maybe here in the armpits or here where it's pressing too tightly on his thighs. We might make some marks to, so that when we take it off, we can remember what kind of adjustments need to be made to give him the optimal fit. Then to take the brace off, again, if his injuries require, we're going to have him go down on this shoulder. I would help with his legs, all right? If you can just go down. And then we're gonna have him roll to his back. And then this time, it doesn't really matter which strap you unstrap first. You're just gonna unstrap him. Put the Velcro back on itself. Otherwise, you're gonna grab everything that you don't want him to. The front is then removed. Again, we're gonna to have to have him log roll, so we're gonna have you 
Lift up this leg and roll to your left. And then the brace is just pulled out from behind to the patient. They're then log rolled back onto their back and left in that position then. I know that log rolling can sometimes be intimidating for uh, people taking care of a patient like this. But let me show you one thing that can make it a little easier. You always want to have them bend their knees up. It's just going to help in the process. What you might be able to do is grab the sheet or something underneath them and use that to help them roll. That way you're supporting them uh, the full length of their back and torso and it makes log rolling easier and, and less nervousness, I guess, in doing that. Another possible way to don and doff a custom TLSO is seated bedside. Uh, this may happen if patients had a, a fusion surgery or something that they're pretty secure with their spinal stability, but we need to protect them when they're going through their ADLs of life. So what we would recommend would be to leave three straps on one side of the brace fastened, and then it can be opened up kind of like a clamshell and brought in from behind the patient. If you wanna hold that front here for me. Again, you wanna make sure the waist groove is put on the hips. The front should go over the back like that. And then we're going to bring the other side together. Again, start with the middle strap. And you might have to get gown or t-shirt out of the way. Oops, on the outside. There we go. And this is in some ways a little more difficult than fitting lying down. But it sometimes is less troublesome for the patient. One thing I would recommend is under the arms, be really careful with these little rollers. They can pinch skin if you aren't careful with that. And there we have it. Then to doff it, you would just take three straps on one side, again putting the Velcro back against itself. And then just open it up like a clamshell and remove it. Okay, some tips and tricks or commonly asked questions is, how do I clean this? There's foam on the inside and then the more rigid plastic on the outside. Soap, mild soap and water can be used on both. It can be wiped down inside and outside and then rinsed well. Or even occasionally a uh, use rubbing alcohol, again, lightly go over both sides, let it air dry, that helps to uh, get rid of bacteria and those kinds of things for it. The straps are uh, a Dacron. They could be wiped off with some, again, mild soap and water and then rinsed well um, to, uh, to clean those. As far as wear schedule for a brace like this, it's going to be put on when he, the patient gets out of bed and worn for the entire day, but they do not wear it to bed at night. Again, a t-shirt or something underneath it would be protective of the patient's skin a little bit more than not having anything on underneath it. Thank you for watching these videos we've provided for educational purposes. Uh, remember that the patient can always call SRT if there are fit issues with the brace. We're happy to see them and take care of that need. If there are questions about wear schedule and, and those kinds of things, how many weeks, how, how much during the day, they should contact their physician and make sure that they have his approval for that, his or her approval for that. Thank you again for your time and efforts with our patients. We appreciate you.